Look what Romeo made. Let me show you how he made it. It's Romeo Wednesday. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. Romeo is showing out. He was able to make these beautiful photo keychains and I cannot wait to share the step-by-step -step process with you. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's look at the materials, go into Leonardo Design Studio, get the image printed, get the image cut, and get the images placed on these photo keychains. Let's get started. The materials I use for this project include, of course, my Caesar Romeo. I use two millimeter acrylic keychain blanks that I purchased from Amazon. You can get them with the silver hardware or the gold hardware. I will leave a link to both below this video. In addition to those, I also purchased lobster clasps. They do not come with the keychain blanks that I purchased, but they do make the finished product much cuter in my opinion. The paper that I used is Ava vinyl sticker paper. And if you are not going to use the link below this video, make sure you pay attention to the paper you are purchasing. There is one on Amazon that looks very similar to this and it is not this. It is AIVA vinyl sticker paper. This one comes in glossy and matte. I'm using the glossy one for this tutorial. I also use just the standard Caesar high tech matte. You will also need jewelry pliers in order to put the keychains together and all the little pieces. I use my pen pen weeding tool to remove the plastic that's on the keychain blank. And I use this Cricut tool to poke a hole at the top of the picture when I was putting the keychains together. This vinyl is called, or I call it Oracle Transparent Vinyl. This is the vinyl that I put on top of my keychains to protect them from being in the elements outdoors and it has worked well for me. I am in Leonardo Design Studio. The first thing I'm going to do is change the view on my screen and make it make sure that it matches the paper size that I'm using. I am changing this to a print and cut with a paper size of eight and a half by 11. The next thing I'm going to do is go down to the bottom menu and go to the shapes option and select a circle. The default size of the circle is two inches by two inches and it comes in black, that's fine. I am going to right click on it. I'm going to click edit and add copy. And I am just going to bring the other circle right there next to it. And what I'll do now is select both circles. I will go up to arrange. I will select tile array and I will add two vertical rows to the circles that I already have. I will click apply. Now I have six circles. I'll move four of them to the bottom and work with the first two that are at the top. I'll just move them closer to the top and I will start to get them prepared for my images. What I'm going to do here is go to the color options and I am going to change the color of that first circle to gray. Now I'm going to go up to file and click open. I'm going to select the first image as a background image and I am going to click OK. I'm going to start to resize the image so that I can get it to fit nicely in the circle. And what I'm going to do is just continue to resize the image until it is fit until it has fit into the circle nicely. Now remember, the circle has to be on top and the image has to be in the back. So what you can do is click on the image and send it to the back, or you can click on the circle and send it to the front. And every time you move the image, you'll be able to see it better to see if it 
looks nicely where you've placed it now what i'm doing here is just adjusting the image and kind of making um it a little bit bigger and centering it in the circle and once i get it where i want it then i will select the image and the, cir the circle and i will select intersect at the bottom now I'm going to work on the second image. I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to look for the second image of Peter and I. There is it. There's the image right there. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to select it as a background image. It comes in and is not rotated. You can select Control R on your keyboard, or you can go to Arrange and select rotate until it is in the right direction once the photo is in the right direction you can just start to resize it and play with it until it fits nicely in the circle which is what i'm doing now remember the circle has to be on top so i am going to make sure the click on the right click go to order click on bring to front then i'm going to once again continue to adjust the image until it has both of our faces in there nicely and there is no piece of the photo cut off and that we fit into that circle nicely so all i'm doing is adjusting the image and when you start to play with it once the circle is on top you will be able to see it and adjust it as needed once i have it i will scroll down to the bottom and i will select the circle and the photo and i will click intersect now i have the first keychain finish the front and the back now i'm going to work on the second keychain and this will be the one with my son and i so i'll select the circle i'll scroll up and go to file i'll click open i'll select the photo i will select it as a background image click next select Control r to rotate the photo until it is upright then i will just start to resize the image until it fits nicely inside the circle once again i'm just making adjustments until we both fit nicely in the circle remember you can click on that page marks option at the top right to make the paper size bigger so you can see it better and just keep making adjustments once you have it the way you want it all you do is select make sure the circle is on top select the circle select the image and then click intersect so now i have my third image i'll speed the rest of this up So right here, what I'm doing is selecting each file, making sure that it is set to print and cut and, and it is in the correct shape. I'm doing that with each of the circles and going down to build contours, selecting print and cut, build contours, print and cut for each of the six circles. And then I will click send design after I've checked all six and I am going to click send and now we are ready to get this printed and cut i am sending this to my canon mx472 printer it is eight and a half by 11. let's send this to the printer The images are printed on this Ava vinyl sticker paper in white and glossy. It does come in a matte version, but I prefer glossy. The reason why I like this one is because it's thin and as soon as the image prints, the ink is already 
dry. So make sure you're getting the right one if you're not using the link below the video. What I'm going to do with the printed image is place it on the mat in the bottom left corner. I will be placing the Oracle transparent vinyl on top of the printed image. The reason why I use this instead of maybe resin or anything like that is because it is made to withstand outdoor weather conditions and it has protected my keychains with no problem at all. It's made for signs and decals and all kinds of other projects. And so once you see me take it off, you'll see that it is clear and it works very well for keeping the keychains intact. I have cut a piece of the Oracle transparent vinyl that is eight and a half by 11. What I'm going to do is carefully peel it back slowly, just reveal a small portion, pull it very, very tight with both hands and try to get it placed on top of your image without having any bubbles. I'm not sure if it's better to pull fast or slow or pull at the same time that you maybe use a squeegee or something like that, but I just pulled it quickly and then I just went over the image with my squeegee to flatten out any bubbles. And I also used my pen pen weeding tool to pop any of the air bubbles because you want the transparent vinyl to be on top of the images as flat and as securely as possible. Now let's let Romeo cut out those six circles with speed and accuracy. Let's start to put the first keychain together. Remove the plastic from one side of the keychain blank. I just use my weeding tool for that. Take your first image and just make sure it's lined up and it's the right size. Remove the image from the backing of the sticker and then you're going to place it on top of the side of the keychain blank where you have removed the plastic. Make sure the top of the keychain blank is where the hole is at the top of the keychain. Then once you secure the first side, you remove the plastic from the second side with your weeding tool. Once again, I apologize for being out of frame right there. I'm going to take the second image, remove the image from the backing, and once again, line it up, making sure our heads are at the top where the hole of the keychain is. And I will do it, you know, just very carefully. It's hard to, I was in a bad uh, position to get the image on straight right there, but I managed to do it. And now I am going to start to put the keychain hardware on the keychain. In order to put the keychain together, take the smaller hook and insert it where you've created a small hole at the top of the keychain. Make sure that hook is attached to the chain of the keychain. Use the jewelry pliers to close that clasp. And what you should have is the first part of your keychain finished. Remember the lobster hooks or the lobster clasps are optional but I like to add them. So I'm adding one here. And once I finish doing that, I will add a tassel that complements the colors we are wearing in the photo. Once it's all put together, this is what my first keychain looks like. Let's put the other two together. For the two remaining keychains, I'm going to use two keychain blanks the pen pen weeding tool, the jewelry pliers, the white cricket tool, the small hooks, the big keychain, and the lobster clasp. And I am going to choose tassels that complement the colors in the photo. 
I'm going to take the first keychain blank, remove the plastic from one side, take the first image, remove it from the sticky backing, place it right side up on the keychain. I'm going to remove the plastic from the other side with my pin pin weeding tool, get the other image stuck to the keychain blank, and then I'm going to place a small hole at the top and I will get the keychain hardware added. And I will also include the lobster clasp and the tassel that matches the colors in the photos. I'll do the same thing for the third keychain with the picture of Peter and I. When I finish putting them all together, this is the front and back of the Milo keychain. And this is the front and the back of the photo keychain of Peter and I. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. You already know I'm going to say I love these keychains. I love them. I love the way they turned out and hopefully you do too. If you're in my Facebook group, I can't wait to see your photo keychains because I think this is a cute and simple project. Um, if you are finding this time with me on Wednesdays helpful, please continue to join me on my Romeo Wednesday journey. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye!